to the journey we go. Lots of Monstro Deliciosa at the historical botanical garden. So we made a mistake. Well, I made the mistake. The Google Maps told me there's a different botanical garden. But finally we made it here. So when you come to Malaga, make sure to check historical botanical garden. Let's see if there's any fruit. No fruit on these guys. This is kind of like banyan. There's the uh, bamboo. Uh, big fig tree. Oh, that's a fig. fig. Okay. Kind of fig. Yeah. And these are very important trees. To think that this tree comes all the way from a tiny, tiny seed. Yeah. <laughs> Huge. What? We went from home too late. We went from home too late. <laughs> uh, we many obstacles to get to the... To the organic market. Uh, we went to the wrong botanical garden. And then we finally found the garden, <laughs> like three hours. Three hours late. late. But as they say, better late than never. <laughs> so yeah, now yeah, that's a beautiful garden. I'd say it's kind of like a park. Park, half garden. And there it is down there with different ponds and many tropical forests kind of plants this is for my barefoot follower just to show and everybody else as well we're barefoot connecting with the earth is a very important element of life So basically you feel right at home when you're walking on forest, on, well this is not the best, this is kind of gravel, but before was okay. more forest. But when I'm in the city, I wear shoes because the city is dirty, that's where the dirt is, all the cars and call this dirt. glass. This is, yeah, this, this is, is nature, <laughs> this, this is, is not nature. dirt. This is kind of the viewpoint, or maybe we will pass the viewpoint, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, oh, cool. This is the flower, uh, the Australian Aborigines make the oh. didgeridoo instrument. Oh, from agave also? Yeah, when this is dry. They cut it and uh, they cut it. Right. Didgeridoo, but that's from um, Australia. Australia. Yeah. But this is Mexican agave. Yeah, but they are growing in Australia. Mm, maybe it's a different type. Maybe a different type. Agave, yeah. they make uh, yeah. alcohol. This uh, what is it called? Uh, tequila, ah, I think. Yeah. Tequila and or something. And they do the agave uh, syrup. Oh yeah, yeah right. Yeah. So yeah, when you buy the syrup, which is, I don't recommend, <laughs> I do not recommend eating it's any this. of that, but... <laughs> it's sugar. Yeah, it's just extracted sugar. Anytime you have extracted, don't eat it. Just have the whole fruit. And if you cannot eat the whole, like this, you cannot eat it, then it's not Maybe worth eating. Sweet to chew it. Maybe you know. can chew it, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Should we try? <laughs> no. I'll pass. Someone wrote their name on it. Sweden. Swedish. Ah, Swedish name, yeah. <laughs> Lots of Swedes here in Malaga. <laughs> they like Malaga for some reason. Yeah. Including That's Pablo. <laughs> Pablo is half Swedish. <laughs> yeah. 
fruit is a good one. Actually, there's there's ripe fruits on there. Yeah. This is the prickly pear. You've probably heard of it. Prickly pear, cactus fruit. They call it tuna in some. Yeah, the red we ones. Have some tools. Maybe we could pick. Yeah, the red ones would be easy. They are pretty. They look quite nice. And, uh, I think I'm gonna try to make tools and see what we can to do. To plant, cut this, you just take a leaf and put it on the ground. Okay. And you make a new tree or cactus. New cactus thing. As you can see the red ones, I was able to pick some. And then we're trying to open it. How is it? Not very good. Not very good? It's not sweet. Yeah. Taste less. I had much better. Variety of prickly pear. Let's try getting this one. There's some ripe ones. Careful, there are lots of spikes. Purple inside. Mm. This one might be sweeter. Maybe it's tastier. Oh, it's easy to peel. Yeah, it's super ripe. Nice. That's how it should be. When fruit is ripe, it should be easy. Because it wants it's hard to not get. It wants to be eaten. <laughs> yeah, that's the spiky things. Spikes. Let's see if I can get one. Or just try it and tell me how it is. <laughs> if it's worth the effort. It looks like those purple dragon fruits. Let's try this. Take a bite. <laughs> Interesting. Try a bite. <laughs> oh no, don't drop it. <laughs> I'm trying to film it at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. It's not super sweet, but a little better, I guess. It's not sweet, but uh, got very much taste. Yeah. Some kind of taste. Mm, I got spikes mm. on my finger. I have a bit too. Uh, <laughs> They'll come out. Yeah, it has interesting texture too. Almost like a freezy or something. There are special tools to pick them, but um, if you don't have them, you uh, need to be very careful and pick them with bare hands. As, <laughs> if you as are, fruitarians, we if should. If you are um, brave enough. As fruitarians, we should have all the tools we need right here the hands, the There's feet. There's just a tech, um, technique, technique <laughs> to pick them. Uh -huh. Maybe I can try going. Uh, it's really in the middle there, so a lot of spikes. We didn't even need uh, tools to open. Yeah, well that's the ideal fruit, like mangoes, you know, even avocado, anything. Watermelon, you can just break them with your hands and eat it. That's normal. And yes, yeah, somebody and full of spikes now, but uh, I'll try to show you. <laughs> Found a bunch of bananas, there's a red variety. And there's the flowering, kind of weird, they're not doing so good, but these guys, they're doing better. They got fruits and even bananas. Yeah, there's some all right.
I wonder which variety this one. No idea. It definitely doesn't look like Cavendish. No, it's not Cavendish. <laughs> Thankfully. There's a flower over here if you can see. That's the flower. Yeah, a little banana forest. That's pretty cool. And here is a flower forest. Look at that. The colors. <laughs> It's funny, we got all the colors everyone likes and we're looking at the bananas. Fruitarians. Oh, I think this is the um, lavender. This is lavender. I've worked in Canada with lavender. Yeah, I worked in Canada with this, uh, maybe a different variety, but something like this. Oh, and these are pears. Europe or Asia, they're not sure on the sign. So there's the different kinds of lilies, kind of purplish and yellow, more white and more pink. And there are small ones. Oh, and small yellow ones. The fish? Or is it toadstools? Or something, you know those things? It could be the... The frog babies. Oh, there's a turtle. doesn't look too deep. What's up food? Oh, I have some <laughs> stuff <laughs> from the... This is the sequoia. Possibly, not for sure yet, but it looks huge. And this is a baby. So this house is from 1850. Probably been restored. So this was built by some iron company and this is some Chinese something, very old vine that goes all the way up the tree and all the way around this, giving a lot of shade and it has beautiful flowers in March and there's a little pond with lots of monsters. That's the big monster waterfall. Monstra Deliciosa. And yeah, it's a little bridge. <laughs> we discovered a weird fruit here. It looks to me a bit like Jackfruit. Oh no, you said jackfruit. Yeah, a bit like jackfruit, or maybe a huge monstra. Deliciosa fruit. Outside is fuzzy. Let's see, take a piece. The flies like it, so I guess that's a good sign. And then here is kind of foamy. Kind of juicy, not very juicy. And this must be the seed. Excuse the hands that's after the. Uh, cactus fruit <laughs> so yeah I'll give it a taste mm. 
Yeah, it's mild, doesn't have much flavor. I'm not 100% sure what this is, but uh, it is pretty tasty. Might be something from Mexico or Honduras. Strange fruits in the botanical garden. Oh, I have a souvenir.